In this video, you'll see how to manage configuration compliance at scale using AWS Config Conformance Packs. With this feature, you can use templates to define compliance rules for your AWS resources, deploy rules as a single unit across an account or organization, and monitor non-compliance with the rules defined in the pack. Let's begin by reviewing the prerequisites for deploying AWS Config Conformance Packs. To get started, navigate to AWS Config and open the Settings page. The first prerequisite is that the AWS Config Recorder must be turned on. In this case, recording has already been enabled. Conformance packs also require an AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, role to allow them to work in your account. Let's navigate to the IAM Management Console and take a look at the necessary role. In this case, the service-linked role that was created is called AWS Service Role for Config Conforms. Let's drill down. Here you can see the policy applied to the role to give it the needed resource level permissions. Conformance packs also require a dedicated Amazon Simple Storage Service, or Amazon S3, bucket for storing and delivering the pack's compliance results. Let's navigate to the S3 Management Console to see the bucket that has been set up for this example. Select the Conformance Pack bucket. Let's take a look at its permissions to ensure that the bucket has been configured to grant access to the IAM role we saw earlier. Select Bucket Policy. The permissions in this bucket policy allow AWS Config to store conformance pack artifacts in the bucket. Now that we've confirmed that the prerequisites are met, let's return to AWS Config to deploy a conformance pack. The first step is to specify which template to use. All conformance packs are based on a YAML template that contains configuration information about AWS accounts and regions where you want to deploy AWS Config rules. Some templates also include remediation actions. You can use a predefined sample template or a custom template. Let's use a predefined sample. For demonstration purposes, select Operational Best Practices for Amazon S3, which defines a set of rules for secure operation of S3 buckets. Proceed to the next step. Specify a name for the conformance pack. Next, select or create an S3 bucket to store compliance reports for this conformance pack. Buckets generated from this page automatically have the necessary permissions for compliance report delivery, with the exception of cross-organization conformance pack reports. For the purposes of this example, we'll select the S3 bucket we reviewed earlier. Optionally, you can add values to parameters defined in the template. In this case, let's just move on. Now review and deploy the conformance pack. Once the conformance pack has been created, it can take several minutes for the pack to visit each relevant resource and produce a compliance report. Let's refresh the view. The conformance pack is finished deploying. As expected, it has already detected non-compliance with one or more of the pack's rules. Let's investigate. Select one of the rules with non-compliant resources. This rule checks whether logging is enabled for your S3 bucket. Scroll down to identify the non-compliant resource or resources. Select one of the non-compliant resources. If the conformance pack you deployed includes remediation actions, you can run them from here. Note that in order to use remediation actions, you must have an IAM service role for AWS Config Remediation. You can also view details about the resource, including its compliance status with conformance pack rules. You can see every rule in the conformance pack that has been checked for this resource, along with the resource's compliance status for each rule, so that you can take appropriate action. You can set up roles and buckets and deploy conformance packs using either the AWS Config Console or the AWS Command Line Interface, or CLI. You can also use the AWS CLI to check the status of deployed conformance packs. Let's do so now. Next, let's check the overall compliance pattern. We'll use the Describe Conformance Pack Compliance command to produce a list of all the rules defined by the sample conformance pack along with their compliance status. The AWS CLI command reference documentation provides other commands that allow even more in-depth descriptions of compliance patterns. 
It also details the resource compliance rules defined by different conformance packs. The AWS CLI can also be used to deploy conformance packs that check resources associated with multiple accounts across an organization. Let's do so. This functionality is currently supported using the AWS CLI and API only. Now let's display the status of the newly created organization-wide conformance pack. Notice that we can see the created organization-wide sample conformance pack while the account-level conformance pack is unlisted. You've just seen how to manage configuration compliance at scale using AWS Config conformance packs. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.